So what we will try to do for this new cycle, as we remember, we started our journey to digital transformation and innovation since uh, 2021. Now we are heading to, to, that, uh, to that, er that area. In uh, Africa program, what we want to focus on will be, we work on three domains, in three domains. First one, we want to focus on capacity building because you know that uh, capacity building, it is one of the best uh, key you can have uh, in, your, in your company because you can have a very big airlines, uh, airplane, aeroplane, but you need a driver. So the driver, it is the human being, so you need to, to train them in digital, uh, by using digital uh, tools, uh, everything. So, and for that, we want uh, to train people more on the new tools, like uh, to train IT managers, because usually we are just training uh, postal operators, uh, those who are doing operations, but it's also good to, to train like IT, IT managers, because they are the one working uh, at the ba background, uh, back office. So this is the first thing. The second one will be now on um, uh, consultation because we need also to see, to go to countries to see what are their needs because this is the, 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 the main way to, to collect uh, their needs so we can try to address them here. And the last one will be on procurement, equipment, assistant, uh, equipment assistance. That one will pay a special attention to countries uh, that are crossing uh, difficult time. You know, some countries in Africa are challenging with uh, natural disasters. You have some of them uh, facing co armed conflict. We want to more focus on them because it's better to go to those who are in need than you, you distribute equipment to, to all. This will be the main focus uh, uh, of our activities uh, during as the, this new cycle, we expect to learn at the end of uh, the cycle to the digital transformation and uh, innovation. So in Africa now, we can say that uh, from the last years, not, not far behind, we can say that uh, Africa, African countries met progress. This, this one we can say because uh, you see this with this COVID pandemic, many people were thinking that post uh, designated operators will go down, but you see how they were resilient to, 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 to go through the innovative solutions because uh, at that time, those who had to survive, to survive need to go through the innovative solutions. That's why many countries now are making progress you can see in many countries uh, new solutions, uh, either in e-commerce, uh, either in digitizations. So which means that African countries can also adapt themselves. And we can say that now that uh, Africa is uh, uh, making progress. And uh, we cannot say that it is enough. We have to push them. We have to push them to be more innovative because now if we are not innovative, you cannot uh, survive and it is not an option. So for, for Africa, uh, what we will try to do, we will work mostly with our, our members, uh, as we, we know them. We also rely on uh, our partners. Uh, we have many partners and also contributors. You know, uh, for, for, for Africa program, we used to receive contribution from some uh, French countries, let's say like that, France, uh, Japan, there, there are many they are, they, are, they are giving. So we want to rely uh, on them. We have also uh, our external stakeholders uh, because now what we notice is that uh, for the last cycle or maybe for the past, there was no communication flow between all the stakeholders, like UN 
uh, regional offices in Africa, restricted unions, uh, member countries. There was no communication flow uh, between them, which creating some gaps. Now we are trying to see how we can put them together. That is why we put in place a project called Cooperation and Facilitation, facilitation uh, Framework to see how to put together uh, all stakeholders, include the uh, African Union Commission.